Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Aquarius, the man carrying the water. And this is a post uh, by Phil Coolis on uh, the website, paulthepoke.com. And we got a shot here from the software of stellarium.org. And we are specifically looking at Aquarius right here. Um, and this was the sky on November 15, right around sunset, uh, November 15, 2018. And the focus is going to be on the constellation Aquarius, the man carrying the water, and the names um, of the main stars and the meaning of their names. And so we got three main stars in Aquarius, Sadal Malik, and that means the record of pouring out. Sadal Saud, which means he pours out. And Sheet, who goes and return, returns. So you got the record of the pouring out. He who pours out, who goes and returns. Well, clearly that points to Jesus. Um, in the prophecy of the water man, Aquarius in the Bible, Luke 22, verses 7 through 13, then came the day of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat. So they said to him, Where do you want us to prepare? And he said to them, Behold, when you have entered the city, a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house which he enters. Then you shall say to the master of the house, the teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large furnished upper room. There make ready. So they went and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. So the implications, uh, this is Jesus before his uh, death, burial, resurrection, but also to us as a church and followers of Christ, following Aquarius, we go into the house of the master and have dinner with the teacher. So we will go into the upper room, that would be heaven, and have dinner, the great feast, the great uh, wedding feast of the Lord with the teacher. And, you know, the, the point Phil was making with this too is that, you know, historically if you look, uh, this is an observation so in Aquarius, in Christ, Mars, historically the symbol for war. Moon, historically the symbol for Israel, according to Jewish tradition. You're not going to find this stuff in the Bible. Um, Mars is war. Moon, Israel, war. And coincidentally, Israel was at war, having a little scrape with the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip as this was all going on in the sky. So do what you want with it. It is fascinating. There is a line of Kabbalistic thought that says the sky tells us what's happening on earth. And, you know, there may be a hint of that in the Lord's Prayer. But, you know, signs, day four, God said he would use these things to communicate to us. So do what you want with it. It is fun. It is interesting. The stars do tell the story of Christ and the Hebrew mats are off. So do your own homework with that. Don't take our word for it, but check into it. Look into it. Fascinating. God actually uh, created to tell a story. How about that? So at any rate, if you're interested in this, I um, recommend you go to paulthepoke.com, Prophecy Watch and Bible Study. And you can scroll down here on the far right column. Uh, and this is uh, going to be located under uh, Phil Coolis. You can click on his link, read all of his stuff. You can also go to Signs, Sun, Moon, and Stars. Click on that as well. If you want to step out broader, you can go back to Prophecy. There's all kinds of stuff there. But at any rate, appreciate you guys all following along. Now, if you are interested, please uh, click on the blue bar up here. You can sign up for posts every time they are completed. You'll get an email. Uh, with every post that's uh, published, we won't sell your stuff, promise. Um, and uh, appreciate everybody following along. So you guys have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.